Mixing. The auto mixing can instantly make or break your DJ set. And today I'm here to give you my number one tip to instantly improve your mixing as a DJ. And we're going to do that by learning phrase mixing. Please do not skip this video if you want to be a better DJ. Let's jump right into it. What's good you guys? My name is Deep and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials, tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Mixing is one of the most important things that a DJ needs to learn, practice and master. But I see that most beginner DJs confuse beat matching with mixing. Beat matching and mixing are two completely different things. Learning to beat match doesn't mean that you have learned the art of mixing. It's also important to learn the art of phrase mixing. Beat matching is basically synchronizing the beats of two different tracks. Of course, that's important to learn. But what is more important to learn is to learn the art of mixing the elements of each beat like the kick and the snare and to do that in time and in phrases. And that is what is called phrase mixing. And that's why I'm here today to teach you the art of mixing two tracks seamlessly so they flow together. To master this, you need to understand the structure of dance music or electronic music. Basically, all electronic music is based on the same structure that is beats, bars and phrases. And that is very important to understand when you're DJing. A beat is nothing but the sound of the kick drum and four such beats make one bar and eight bars of four beats each make one phrase and that equals to 32 beats which means 32 beats make one phrase and 64 beats make two phrases and this is the basic structure of dance music and this is how dance music is produced so when you mix if you mix the two individual tracks with the beginning and the ending of their individual phrases your mix will always flow together and it will always sound good. Enough talking now, let me show you how to do this. Alright, let's start by learning how to count. I'm gonna play one track on deck B here and what we're doing is we're gonna start counting 32 beats from the beginning of the first beat, okay? Now do it with me as I do this. And the beat comes now. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now did you notice something change at the end of the 30 second beat and the beginning of the second phrase when we counted 8 bars, okay, something changed at the beginning of the second phrase. I'm gonna play the same track again and this time I'm hoping that you too can hear what I heard, okay. Let's do this once again. And the beat comes. Okay, now I'm hoping that you heard that something changed at the 30 second beat and that is the structure of dance music. Something changes in every 32 beats or every phrase. Some tracks change in 64 beats or two phrases and some tracks change in half of that. So usually it's from 32 beats. So that's the basic structure and it's important to learn that. Now let's do this with a different track just to prove that this theory works with every dance track. Okay, I'm gonna play this track from the beginning. We're counting 32 beats and what we are figuring out is that if something changes in the 30 second beat. Let's do this. One, two, three, four. 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 Did you notice that? It's the same in any track. It's the same in every track. Now that you understand this, what you need to remember to do is that every time you mix, you mix the first beat of the new track at the beginning of the new phrase of the existing track, okay? And that is when you will notice that every time you play in phrase, your music and your mixing will just 
flow. Okay, now let me show you an example of perfect phrase mixing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play one track here and at the beginning of the new phrase in the existing track, I'm gonna play the first beat of the new track and you will notice that at the end of the 30 second beat, everything will sound great. Let's do it now. Did you see that? That was a perfect phrase mix. Well, that was a tutorial on phrase mixing and that is also my number one tip that I give to any DJ that I'm teaching or any DJ who is willing to improve their mixing skills. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys learned something new today. And if you guys did, please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and also click on that bell icon guys to get notified every time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because that encourages me to make more such videos for you guys. That's been it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.